Hi everyone, this is Hibba from my little journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook. I will be documenting this beautiful photo of our recent family vacation to the Philippines. It's just the picture of the boat we went on our tours. Um, it was just a beautiful day and the water was clear so I'm definitely documenting that. I do want to use those die cuts. They were sent to me by the wonderful team at Spellbinders. And I'm just going to try to figure out how I want to lay this layout. Now that pattern paper with all the words, it just has summary words. It's really old pattern paper from Gossamer Blue. And the word sunshine is in yellow. At first I thought I would use the gray or the black pattern paper, but I felt like I needed to bring in the yellow from the sunshine. So I'm going to go with it. I even have like a hint of yellow in my picture, so it's going to work much better. I'm measuring my uh, paper with my fingernail because I'm lazy like that. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it down. Now for the right side, I kind of had something in mind. I really wanted to use those three words, the live, love, um, laugh. And I thought it would be pretty cool to use my Spellbinder die cuts, the circles and add a few circles to kind of back up my words, if that makes sense. I like this size much better. I feel like my words fit nicely in that. So I'm going to go ahead and add three separate circles. And then I thought I would back it up with some of my pattern paper. But you're going to see I decide against it because it just felt like the white looked so much better. And especially that I'm going to use those die cuts um, on black pattern paper. So I just felt like it was too much. So sticking to the white background made more sense. I'm going to grab my words, take it to my die cut machine, and then try to figure out how I'm going to add these words to my spread. I really like how this looks, so I'm going to go ahead and start layering my photo. I'm just going to use some scrap paper, doilies, tissue. Um, as you know, I love texture when I'm layering my picture. I just feel like if I don't add the texture to my layers, or let's say if I don't add layers to my picture, I just feel like my layout is not complete. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I did also want to mention that you should never be afraid to use your die cuts in your traveler's notebook. Die cuts are not just made for card makers. Of course, I love watching card makers create beautiful, beautiful cards with their die cuts. But um, as a traveler's notebook uh, scrapbooker, I do love using them in my scrapbook layouts and they are just perfect to create like depth to any layout. So try them out in your traveler's notebook layouts. They are so much fun to work with and they really do add a lot of depth. I get asked a lot if I plan my layout before I start filming or do I have some kind of idea of what I want to do. And a lot of times I do where I kind of think, oh, I should use this product on my spread or this pattern paper on my spread. But I don't sit there and um, kind of plan every single step out. That just doesn't work for me. I like to just go for it and see where it goes. Just like simply choosing that triangular pattern paper. It was just scrap paper. Uh, I used it on my layers and then I thought I could use my doily to kind of finish off the layers on the other half of the triangle, if that makes sense. So I trimmed down my doily to fit my layers and even that strip of black and white um, scrap paper just 
came to me that I'm just going to add that to bring in some black to the left side of my spread. So I always say go for it. Don't plan every single step out. Don't think too hard about it. Just keep adding your layers. I don't care what you add. In the end, it will look pretty neat. And you cannot go wrong by adding layers and layers of different patterns as long as they match and they go well with your photo and your layout. I am done layering my picture and now I'm going to start working on the right side of my spread. Now I'm going to end up using my Kelly Perky Ramona Alpha Stamps. Love these stamps. They're really small and they just work in small spaces. And I thought I would use them to kind of create a little phrase inside each circle. So it's going to end up saying live a little, love a lot, and laugh always inside the circles. I just love how this turned out. I'm so happy I used those alpha stamps because they fit inside the circle. I was really worried that the words would not fit, but they fit in there perfectly. Of course, I'm going to end up adding some flowers to my spread. And because I'm using die cuts, I decide I'm going to use my Spellbinders uh, flower die cuts. I forgot the name of these die cuts, but I will add all the links down below for you if you want to grab one of these. I end up using that same black and white pattern paper that I used to die cut the live, love, and laugh. Uh, and I'm gonna use the A side and the B side. So I'm gonna have some gray flowers and some black flowers. I'm just gonna try to figure out how I wanna add them to my spread. And I'll also go into my um, die cut drawer because I remembered that I cut out a heart and it was really cute and it was in black. So I thought it would work really well with the spread. So I end up going for it, looking for it, grabbing it and adding it to my spread. Remember how I said earlier that I don't plan before I start filming? Well, this is a great example. I did not plan using these flowers and I'm kind of struggling trying to add them to my layout and that's okay. Um, the, my issue was I didn't have enough of that black and gray pattern paper. So I was only able to cut out like four flowers and I didn't have enough to like fill out all three circles or add them to all three circles. So I decided to just trim them down and try to add them to that last third circle, if that makes sense. So sometimes, you know, you really want to plan things out and you want it to be perfect, but even without a plan, it still turns out great. So I always say, try to let go and go with your gut. You, believe me, whatever you create is still creating and it's still beautiful. Of 
course, I'm going to end up adding a lot of embellishments to the spread. I'm going to use some word stickers, puffy hearts, and I'll even add some fussy cut out flowers. Now, I could have used some of the same flowers that I used on the right side, but I wanted to add a different look. So I'm going to go through the, my drawer of fussy cut out flowers and add them to my spread. And if you don't know what my drawer of fussy cut out uh, flowers are, um, I like to fussy cut out my pattern paper and I'll even stamp out some flowers. Fussy cut them out, add them in this little drawer and they're always ready for me when I am creating a layout. That way I don't have to worry about it when I'm like in when I'm focused on a spread. Um, but anyways, I did want to talk about my photo. I did tell you guys earlier that this is a picture of the boat that we were on for all kinds of tours. And we just loved our captain and his assistant. They were great. They took us snorkeling, canoeing. Um, we went island hopping. We saw the prettiest lagoons, you guys. It was just simply gorgeous and um, I of course took a picture of our boat or the boat we spent like five days on now this island it's called Coron and it's in the Philippines and when we got there we just fell in love we actually canceled our um, plans to go to another island and decided to spend um, 10 days on this island and not five that's telling you something that tells you that this island is just gorgeous and the people are amazing I totally recommend it but anyways I'm gonna finish up my spread by adding some crystal drops and I call my layout done I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and I hope to see you guys very soon bye